webinar that will be dedicated to national uh, updates. Uh, you do uh, know that we have three national implementing bodies, uh, Robaltic in Estonia, Aerob Zelstalini in Latvia, and LTGI Infra in uh, Lithuania. So I'm very happy actually to give a virtual floor to Vaiko Egert, Head of Operations at Rail Baltic Estonia. Vaiko, uh, are you there? Yes, I see you. Yes. Yes. yes, the floor is yours. Thank you. Hello to everyone who's participating and listening from my side. And happy Europe Day. And within the next 20, 50 minutes, I give a short overview of the project status. Uh, somehow it's not changing slide. Okay. Yes. Uh, and remind what's the scope in Estonia. And, uh, and uh, more focus uh, will be about the upcoming and ongoing proc procurements of uh, Estonia of 2024. And then a brief uh, overview of how to participate in our tenders. So let's remind what the project covers in Estonia. Uh, the project covers 213 double track mainline. There are two international passenger terminals located in Ulamist and Perno. Uh, there are a couple of freight terminals. The biggest one is located in Muga port. It's Muga freight terminal. The smaller one is in, located in Perno, and then we have sort of a tripod. We have two infrastructure maintenance facilities located together with a uh, Perno pipe terminal and Sodova. And then we have uh, a rolling stock tepo foreseen for light and heavy maintenance. It's near Ulamista. Along the route, we have 12 regional stations. We have more than 100 uh, railway crossings. Uh, approximately 33 aqueducts for the annual passages, and plenty of gas pipelines and high voltage line crossings and more than 20 kilometers in noise per year. So what is the current state? So far, we have completed 12 railway crossings. Four out of 12 are aqueducts, and eight are road viaducts. We've completed 16 gas uh, pipelines and high voltage line crossings. One stage of Barno Terminal is a uh, connection uh, road to the terminal area. Under construction or contract stage, is, uh, there are three mainline sections covering substructure of the mainline construction. Uh, there are ongoing 19 railway crossings, which uh, 16 out of 19 are road viaducts, and the rest are aqueducts. Then on the construction, there are three gas pipeline and high voltage line crossings. There are two stages of Ula Music Terminal, stage under construction. Uh, one stage focuses on relocating 1520 railway network. Another one is uh, practically the uh, ground floor of Ula Mister building or terminal building. And then we have a lot of uh, major procurements ongoing. Two are related to the missed uh, terminal uh, construction. There are one gas and high voltage line crossing coming on going. And then we have five mainline sections uh, covering the uh, substructure works of the rail Baltic rail railway line. And then we have one stage of bad IMF works. Right? Practically, it means that uh, we prepare the crown for the interim material storage that can be used for the uh, palace, sleepers, uh, rails, storage during construction. Uh, there's a video prepared that hopefully you can see it in the drums, just to prove, prove that the construction activity is ongoing and we have entered to the construction phase. This is an overview of the Ulamse terminal construction. So Ulam is the kind of landmark station and it's practically next to the airport. And it's four or five kilometers from the city center. It's by the transport hub. You can see a lot of digging and embankment works ongoing and make practically making space for the rail port lines. So, uh, and now let's touch the main line. I think the most interesting part what is the status with the mainline construction? Uh, you can see on the right is a, this a railway alignment through Estonia, and it goes through three counties. 
uh, the northern county is Harim, and the middle one is Rapla, and then the biggest county that the railway goes through is Parno. And you can see on the, on three circles that I have marked that uh, this section that is on, uh, under construction. The first one from the north side, Lagadi, it's approximately five kilometers. And we signed the contract recently, at the beginning of the year. Uh, and you can see the contract value from the slide. And, uh, and the next one, next two one in Rapla County, uh, from Hari on Rapla border to Lona, 9.4 kilometers. It's under construction and the further on the next section. So the contract uh, values varies from 34 million to nearly 60 million. And these are mainly soft structure works. So they don't include any superstructure, no, no pallets, no sleepers, no rail works. So uh, regarding announced procurements, uh, starting from Ohio County from the north, the first section, uh, more than seven kilometers from Soda by Congo. Uh, deadline for the uh, submission of tenders, it's end of May. Estimated value is more than 87 million. And you can find more information uh, about the tender and all the documents on this Estonian uh, uh, procurement uh, registry. And there's a direct link. Uh, if this slide will be shared, you can uh, access through these links and or you can find it uh, easily uh, by this reference number if you're on, on this website. Uh, and then next section is uh, Gangu Saku, approximately 10 kilometers. Uh, deadline of the submission of tenders is uh, beginning of June and the estimated value is over 74 million. And the third one, this circle here is from Sapu to Haru County and Rapla border, uh, more than nine kilometers. And the deadline for submission is 20th of May. And the estimated value is more than 58 million. Uh, just let you know that these, uh, these uh, date, this, uh, the deadlines, most probably we will extend it and we will change it in near a week or, or weeks most probably it will the superstructure works. And why we have decided to use pro alliance procurement model. So based on the uh, Finnish experience, uh, it should uh, bring us the flexibility what we need, uh, fast decision making process, because it will be the joint team where a client, contractor parties, and designers, engineers, constructors will uh, form the one joint team so will be one joint goal, no playing culture. And, uh, and throughout this way, there's the, there will be kind of focus on the results. And uh, we hope that it will uh, help to accelerate the development of the pro project. It helps to keep uh, cost under control. It should force innovation to find the opt best optimum solutions for certain parts. Uh, and since since a kind of uh, it's a open a kind of open book or open shared cost principle, uh, it should uh, help to improve transparency and, and trust and so on. So we have high hopes on this alliance procurement model, and uh, and we hope that it will it will accelerate uh, uh, because it will enable us to achieve the maturity uh, faster. Wherever the uh, prerequisites for the construction achieved, we can start construction for this section and throughout this flexibility. I think, yeah, we can stay within the budget within the schedule. What are the uh, closest steps regarding this alliance model? Since it's a very new to Estonia, it's very new to us. We have engaged the consultant. We recently signed the consultant agreement. There's a joint uh, team uh, 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 teamed up with Estonian company, Brainty, and uh, Finnish company, Visio. Uh, uh, so currently, uh, 10 document preparation is uh, uh, in process. We have started uh, actually a market engagement and consultations. Uh, there's a kind of announcement in our procurement registry 
where you can find more information. But the next closest step is that uh, we invite all the interested parties to uh, our information event that will be held uh, 15th of May in our office. You can see the address uh, here. It will be held on 11th floor, but also uh, you, can, uh, you can join by teams. Uh, after this, there's a possibility to have a bilateral market consultation with us. Uh, they may be held uh, between May and June of, or further on. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, the more detailed information about the consult consultations, uh, wh what will be shared, what kind of information, uh, the further steps you can find uh, on this procurement uh, registry or this procurement webpage. And you can have a direct link from here. We expect to announce this alliance procurement uh, procurement uh, by the end of the third quarter or beginning of this quarter, beginning of fourth quarter this year. Hope to sign the contract uh, next year uh, by June, and hopefully the construction starts uh, in spring 2026. This is a general overview of the uh, timeline uh, in Estonia. What will be not part of the alliance procurement, the uh, uh, CCS and ENA, is part of separate separate contract and uh, it will be uh, uh, managed by RBRA. Uh, and uh, what Estonia construction uh, uh, procurement and uh, works uh, include, they also include design works. All the construction works includes design works because it's common in Estonia that uh, even technical design will be done by uh, constructor. And what else? Some other uh, uh, procurements related to point type objects. Uh, there's a procurement ongoing regarding construction of North Side Street of Ulamiste. Passenger terminal, and it focuses of uh, uh, road construction, tramway relocation, utility relocation works, and deadline for the submission of tenders is end of May, 27 of May, and the estimated value is 22 million. And then we are preparing uh, Williams Terminal building construction procurement. And we expect to launch this procurement uh, end of summer, most probably in August. And the estimate value is around 45 million. Uh, and soon, uh, Roy will come out with a design tender for the mainline section from Sodeva to, to Muga, just map here. You see, how it's, it's, it's nearly two kilometers. Uh, and the estimated value is it's, uh, more than 2 million. And how to participate in our tenders? Uh, uh, all our procurements are announced in the Estonian Procurement Registry. Uh, and uh, uh, procurements above the international thresholds uh, are also published in TED on this European Procurement uh, webpage. Uh, all the detailed information can be found there. But uh, informative information about the procurements, procurement plans, and what might the uh, minimum uh, qualification criteria and so on, you can find a lot of information on our on our web page and uh, on our web page. Okay. There's our links also linked to this slide. For international partners or participants so, who are not involved in our procurements. Please take time to get familiar with the system. Uh, those are uh, in, guidelines in English uh, and how to submit all the documents. Just, you know, just take, take time. Uh, what's important to know uh, is that uh, please be very careful regarding the requirements. Uh, what is needed to submit all the documents needs to be uh, part of the vendor. Later on, you can't supplement your tender, and if something is missing, you will be automatically disqualified. Uh, and what else is that all the, all the procurement-related questions or information 
should be uh, asked and uh, shared via this procurement registry. And we will provide answers within uh, three days. Just give you the glimpse what might be the requirements. There will be requirements for the legal standings, financial standings, technical professional ability, uh, for quality and environmental standards. And more specific, specific uh, what might be. Uh, you can read it here. Mm, some previous experience for the key personnel for the company and so on. Uh, uh, this can be found, this current procurement uh, standard that actually you can see, you can, you can find out on the Power Rail webpage. I think this is this is all from my side.